Hi, y'all. Here's the Pompe. Happy Friday. This is assignment 43. Now, you don't have to do it um, over the weekend. I mean, I know that I guess I shouldn't. You don't have to do it over the weekend because the weekend is kind of like your weekend and you're not at school. But some people like to go ahead and do the work. Some people are good at it. Some people have time, a little bit of time when they can do it. But if you need to wait, you know, you can wait. Um, so here's assignment 43. This is my problem. So this is going to be your example. Please, whenever it comes time for your problem, don't use my numbers by mistake. Because some people are looking at my problem and then doing their problem and getting little hints from how I work mine. Make sure you don't look at mine too hard or you're going to use the wrong numbers. Okay? So, here's my problem. Oops. Focus. Okay. Let's focus There. Um, when two times... So if they're squished together, so that means times. 2 times x minus h plus k equals 8. When it's solved for x, what is the solution? So you're like, wow, there's an x, an h, and a k. How am I going to work that in a calculator? Remember, this is one of those trick ones where you're not really solving it. You're solving it as if it were numbers. So let's go back to assignment Okay. Sorry, they kind of off. Assignment 40. Remember, those weren't numbers, but we're working it as if it were a two-step equation. Okay? Look at that just for a second. Now you remember what's the opposite operation of subtract m? Add an m. What's the opposite operation of a multiply w? A divide w. Okay? You're isolating. You're solving for the t's. That means you want to isolate and have the t all by itself in the answer, okay? So that's what we're doing. And this one, this is a little more involved. I came down here and I started working it. First, because the 2 is squished up next to the um, parentheses, that means I'm going to do the distributive property. It means everybody in the parentheses gets to have that multiply 2 to each piece. So I'm going to multiply the 2 to the x and then the 2 to the h. That's the distributive property. So when I do that, I got 2x. You just have to squish them together because you can't do 2 times x in a calculator. Now 2 times negative. Now that's an invisible 1 if you want to think of it like that. There's nothing in front of the variable. So that means he's a plus, but he's a negative 1. I mean, what did I say he's a plus? There's an invisible 1 there. If they don't have a number in front of the variable, it's an invisible 1. But you have to remember, it's a in this problem, it's a negative invisible 1. So it's a negative 1. So this was 2x. This 2 times an invisible negative 1 is negative 2. You can do that in the calculator. 2 times 1 negative is negative 2. H. You throw the H on it. Now, you have the plus k, so all you're doing is that. Leave the k alone for now. We just did the distributive property on this row. Now we go to the next row. Try to only do one thing on each row. Don't do a whole lot of things. The next one, so it said we're trying to get the x by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and move, get rid of the h. So the opposite of subtract 2h is add 2h on both sides of the equal sign. So that means I got to do it over there on the left hand side, but I also have to add a 2h on the right hand side. So you have to do it on both sides of the equal sign. Next, all oh, my dogs are going to start barking right in the middle of the video. Next, you got rid of those. So those, in other words, they cancel each other out, they disappear. Remember, they're opposites. So you have 2x plus k equals 8 plus 2h. We're still trying to get the x all by itself. So I want to get rid of the k. So the opposite of plus k is minus k. 
Those cancel each other out. You can't really do 8 plus 2H in a calculator, so I just wrote them across. You can't really do minus K and all this stuff in a calculator. So I just put them all together. Merrick, stop barking. Oh, my goodness. And then, um, so really, you can't do all that in a calculator, so I just wrote them all across so they'd be all together, okay? Then the last step to get the H isolated all by itself is to divide 2. So that is your final answer. But you got to divide every single piece by 2. First, oops. First I said the 8 divided by 2, and then I got a 4 for that. And then I said the 2 divided by 2, which I got a invisible 1. You could put the 2 on 2. 1 H. And then I had to say K divided by 2. You can put an invisible 1 in front of it if you want to. I didn't, but you could put 1 half K, but I just put K divided by 2. So you don't have to put invisible ones, but I just want you to recognize it in case the answer they give you sometimes may happen to have an invisible 1 and you won't freak out. So X equals all of that junk. Your, all that is your answer. So when it says what's the solution if you were solving for X, the solution is X equals all of that. So that is your answer. X equals that. On your problem, I wasn't going to give hints, but then I decided I'm going to give them some hints. Because I guess I'm in a good mood because it's the weekend starting and the Super Bowl. Okay. Here's your problem. It looks similar to mine. And you're solving for X. Again, you're getting X by itself. So, But they're not always going to say X. They could say you're solving for K. But in this problem, again, I'm going to say you're solving for X. What is the solution? I went ahead and... So this is your problem. Don't write down my problem. I went ahead and gave you some hints. So here's some hints. I said do the distributive property. Distribute the 3 first. And then another hint, I said, then do the opposite of divide W. Then do the opposite of subtract 3K. Then do the opposite of times 3. So I walk you through it, but you still have to work it out. So there's your problem. So make sure you write that down carefully. And then look back at the hints. Okay? You still have to write it all out. And when you get done, please circle your final answer. Good luck. Pay attention to detail because on the end of course exam, detail matters. If you make little mistakes, the whole problem's wrong. They're not going to say, oh, we're going to give them partial credit because they only made a tiny mistake. They're going to have the whole thing wrong. Okay? Because the machine does it. So they're not going to say, oh, they only missed a negative sign. They're going to count the whole thing wrong. So pay attention to detail. Okay, love y'all. Have a good weekend. Bye. And thank you guys who are helping other students. Now those of you who need help, if, if you don't want the student to help you, just text me and I'll help you. I just thought maybe it would be a little bit more fun or a little bit better for you to learn from somebody else. And then they're having to go over it a couple of times more, too. So it's helping them remember how to do it, too. Okay? But you can always text me and ask me for help. Thank you all. Bye.